why am i so weirded out this is what i don't like about youtube you miss a week and all of a sudden hi guys welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is olive nkirote and i release videos every week however you guys i have missed you so much i didn't release a video last week and truth be told like i kind of feel some type of way please please subscribe if you haven't this video is going to be amazing so subscribe 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 right now we are trying to get to 700 so please support a girl thanks okay, so the first question was marketing and funding for business ideas and not like million dollar funding but small funding between yeah 50 kenya shillings to 200k so this person is asking me how do you get funding for business ideas so here is the honest truth like i'm not gonna lie like i i can't even lie so honestly speaking um where i get my funding for my businesses is my parents yes i have not worked prior for me to have saved money for my businesses so what happens is i won't even lie to you guys like it's either i got funding from my family and friends i got funding from my parents and i got funding from my lord that's how i get money for my businesses the first first initial funding that i got was from family and friends like i remember during my graduation party um we did like a party and then they kind of like raised for me some money so that's the money that i generally used for my business and obviously it, it, it depletes out also because i mean i can't keep borrowing all the time and it's you know kupewa to kupewa nowadays i even loan from my my dad for example like i needed some money some other day for i'm expanding i mean it's kenya you guys you guys so i really needed money and honestly speaking i know the money will come back but the money that the money wasn't enough you know so i'm like hello dad i need this money um give me at a fee i'll pay you back like every week at this at this amount so yeah he honestly came through he sent me money and then i'm paying him like every week so yeah guys that's genuinely how i've gotten funding for my business i won't lie my business has taken quite a lot of money so far but it at least it can sustain itself a bit so i'm not going to complain about that so that's why i get funding and then again sometimes you also can't keep borrowing loans from family so yeah personally i don't have the loan apps i might try so that i tell you guys all about it but for loans i mostly just use i'm showing nkcb because i like my loans to be exactly a month i just want to put it in my head every week that if i borrow 10k every week i have to pay 10k divided by four is it two five yeah two five right yeah two five so that's my thing so like i grind more because i feel like if i get a loan for three months i won't be as persistent in working so yeah me that's why i got my funding for my business however if you really really want funding for your business i believe you can do work um find a job and probably really really try and save for now that money for your business if that's not an option and if parents are not an option i don't know but i feel like there are investors out there i have a friend who told me she got someone to invest in her business idea so it's either you work and then save that money you have parents who believe in your hustle and can fund that for you you have you find investors i feel like you can look for people who can invest in your business they will some will probably ask either for percentage or shareholding some could probably even just be goodwill investors and then if i find either a website or a link i'm definitely definitely going to do a video like more in depth the next one is how to get clients and how to deal with a dissatisfied client you guys this could be a story of its own i am an entrepreneur i do rabbit farming so how to get clients you guys i have done the most to get clients and i honestly feel like i'll do <laughs> i have to do a video for this one i have to do a video for this one as in okay i have done the most and i'm not kidding like i remember when i launched yami rabbits kenya 
I was out there in people's DM as in hi, my name is Olive. You're speaking to this is Amy Riskana. We're doing rabbit meat. We can give you a 10% off for your first order. Like okay, at first it was hard. I remember the first month we didn't sell anything. As in Kai, it was so demoralizing. And then I was like, and then you know I have this thing for I don't want to run to 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 sell to family and friends. I had this thing I really want to try to sell to a client, like into Hanijui. So hey, it was hard. Eventually we got clients, but honestly, how to get clients? I think I was I'll mention three, but again, this is a video that's going to come up. I'm going to highlight to you guys the ways that have worked for me, the ways that I've had other people saying have worked but I haven't done that, but I'm definitely going to work on that. But one of the ways that has really, really helped me to get clients, especially at that beginning stage when no one knows you, Aki, honestly, is persistence. So personally, um, we run our business online. Like it's an online platform, business platform, like on Instagram, Facebook and all that. So me, what I do, or rather what I did, cause I'm assuming you're a beginner, beginner, what I did, I was honestly DMing as many people as I can. I had a rule, like I had to DM like 15 people a day. At least 10 um, Kawaida people. I'm a 10 like influencers. I'm a 5 like that. A minimum 10, maximum 15. So I was DMing people, I DM people, like give them like a first time offer. And then another thing, I was really trying to engage with people who I feel like would appreciate my product for example if i sell rabbit meat i'm not seeing the point of following young people as in to say not too quickly i mean i did see the point at that time so me i was following like moms you know like posh posh moms or slash moms on ig like 30 and above commenting on their posts and then following as well influencers because many people follow them so if you comment on their pictures people are going to see your name there so chances of people clicking on it is highly likely like when you market through their posts as their post grows you can comment there will also like and then you comment something like relatable and you put a likes i love your comment is ranked higher wow that was my life as in all this to like posh posh moms are my these celebrity moms i was following them turn on post notifications i was commenting on them so after some time it's like I think people start you start start noticing that there's Yami Rabbit Kenya, some started following and I remember I got my first order. Yo, I was so excited. I think that order took me a whole day to prepare. Normally right now I can prepare an order with minutes. Like in that day. Hey, 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 no hey, hey. But anyway, that is one of the things like that is when I was beginner beginner. But currently, how I'm currently getting clients honestly is word of mouth um people who have served before and then they liked it and they gave their friends their number and then now they call me two i could really highly say social media honestly speaking i can give credit to the fact that i post a lot like i really really try to post stories at least every day and to post on my feed at least thrice a week so that has really helped me and i can't complain and as well as because at first i remember we were so small and i did and i did an ad that did so well you guys i got so many clients i remember that time my stock ended and i was just like okay so yeah so far those are the ones that i've done that have highly highly worked however again i promise you i'm gonna do sorry my phone fell <laughs> I'm gonna do an in-depth about this video. I mean, about this particular topic. And then how to deal with a dissatisfied client. Honestly speaking, I have one client who we had a clash, actually two, oh my gosh, I even forgot. I have one client who we had a, like a, a clash. And honestly, I think I loved how the client like aired out their issues to me because she told me what she didn't like about the particular, you know, order and honestly to me if you tell me you don't like how our order how your order was done i i don't know like to me i'd rather like compensate you so that i can have you again over you get and i remember i felt so bad and i remember when she ordered the next time like i apologized the first time i told her we're truly sorry i guess it was miscommunication so the next time she ordered i remember i packaged some extra rabbit meat for her and i told her this is a gift 
thank you for understanding and yeah enjoy it with your family and let me not lie to you guys she's actually the most loyal client we have as in i think she's bought i don't even know how many rabbits she's bought from us I, hey she bought she buys like a lot of rabbits as in so i don't know maybe that touched her heart as well and to me yeah it kind of is someone would be like that's a loss like why would you give out like a whole rabbit i'm a whole half a kilo my me to me i'm thinking i need her <laughs> I need her for my business to grow. She brings money into my business. So if if she feels very dissatisfied to this extent, can I at least help her feel better, you know? And then, hey, so I have another client, a very dissatisfied client I had. But now the difference between these two clients is this client was very rude, very ununderstanding, very as in, yo, as in, I even remember reading those texts and I had a tear on my eye because I'm like, did we really like piss you off like that? Apparently she expected A, but she had asked for B. So me, I give her B thinking that's what she wanted, but how she wanted A. I'm like, is it really my fault? You said A, I give. Anyway, so what happened with that client? I won't even lie to you. We didn't solve the issue. We just, I just told her, you know what? I'm sorry that this and this happened and I'll give you a refund for your, for the order. You don't have to you know you don't have to return the the order like because you know now when the customer starts saying you're stealing from me you're not g what i'm like hey 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 hi i'm sorry i refunded her the full amount for what she had paid again i just wanted to sleep with a conscious mind if you're not happy just take back your money you know i don't want you cursing out me out there in your prayers i'm not to whoever god you're praying to and then my shit doesn't pull through no <laughs> so to me i'm like if money is really like you really feel you don't want to because me i was ready for her to give back our give um, we take back the order and then i refund her full amount but even when i mentioned that she's like i'm sorry i'm not going to refund the rabbit as a matter of fact i'm gonna enjoy it I was just like, okay, sour. It's okay, you can enjoy it. But since you're clearly angry, even just take back your money. You can probably buy rabbits from someone else because guy. So yeah, so far those are the two clients that I've had like a bit of, yeah, mismatch. But one ended up being gold and one just ended up being stone. <laughs> Thank you so much for sticking around. I'm really, really sorry that I forgot not that I forgot that I didn't <laughs> that I did upload last week's video however stay tuned for really amazing videos and I've also got, seen another question whereby um, one person has asked can you please share your challenges um, that are constant in your business and how you've been able to find your way oh my gosh I can't wait to do that as well but I hope this video has kind of brought you in in my life I just wanted to share like a more personal story before I come back with so tip number one is you have to do you know like the one that kind of sounds a bit more scripted this was a bit more welcome into the life so yeah thank you guys for sticking by till the end of this video I love you so much hope you subscribe to this channel stay tuned for a video next week as well and yeah have a great day, a great week, and a great life. So, mwah. don't forget to start where you are, use what you have, and do what you can. Bye, guys. Subscribe. <laughs>